So you're here because your saddle or seat post is making an unwanted noise, creaking, clicking or squeaking. How do we silence it? We'll start with the seat post. Stick a strip of electrical tape just above the seat clamp if you haven't already got a mark of your saddle height. Then remove the seat post. Over time, all sorts of stuff can get in here and it can all be the source of your creaking or clicking. So give it a good clean, both on the post and also in the frame as well. If you ever ride in the rain, it's also a really good idea to take the seat clamp off and clean underneath that because dirt and all sorts of stuff can get underneath it. So again, thoroughly clean all the contact surfaces and remove the bolt and clean and re-grease that as well. Thread it back in and then when you're replacing your seat post, if it's carbon fibre then use fibre grip and if it's a metal post going into a metal frame then you want to use anti-seize or grease. Pop it back in. Oh, fibre grip makes a nice noise, doesn't it? When you're reassembling, it is really important to use a torque wrench, even a cheap one, just to make sure that you're getting the right setting on the bolt and that is actually potentially going to help you creak in as well. Check to see if it's cured it, and if not, then we'll look at the seat clamp next. Just like with your seat height, make sure that you take a marking of the setback on your saddle. So either make a little dash with a marker pen or very carefully measure from the tip of the saddle to the centre of the bars. Five, six, three. Then remove it and then mirror what we've just done for the seat post. So thoroughly clean it and then re-grease it, including the contact points as well on the saddle rails. Although if you're using a carbon railed saddle, then fibre grip, not grease. So that's obviously where the saddle rails sit. And if you've got any grit or anything in there, that could well be the cause of your clicking or creaking. So just give it everything thorough clean. With the saddle off the bike, it's a good opportunity to give the points where the rails meet the actual body of the saddle with a bit of a quick spray with like an aerosol lube. On cheaper saddles, that point can often start to squeak and that should silence it. Now you know me, I'd probably use WD-40, but you can also use G85, Triflo, whatever floats your boat. Remember that before you set the angle of your saddle, then you need to take the bike out of the workstand so you actually know what angle it is. Five, six, ooh, five, six, five. Oh, five, six, four. Damn it, five, six, one. Hmm. Still five, six, one. Five, six, four. Five, six, three. <laughs> now once you've reassembled it all and you've tested it out, if you've still got some noises coming from there. It might be that you've actually misdiagnosed the source of the problem, in which case you'll be needing some other videos in our creek busting series. Why don't you click up there to watch the how to solve creeks coming from your front end, or you can click down there to solve drivetrain creeks. And to never miss another episode in the creek busting series, then subscribe to GCN by clicking on me.